Hi right, guys, AKA Scooter. Coming at you from <laughs> said I said I would do a review of some new knives, some possible nut some new knives, and I did end up choosing which one I wanted to do. Um I ended up going with my Dauntless Manufacturing Matt Helm Design Dog Bone. This is a three inch blade, Magna Cut Steel, DLC coated, Ultim handle. If you do, if this was not your particular cup of tea as far as the material configurations, when they dropped this, this had, I believe, four different steels you could get, uh, which was Magna Cut, 3V, 154CM, and I think S35. This was... I, this got on my radar, and I was like, I have to have this. It looks like such a great little low-profile blade, and I was not disappointed. This is it, it is a thick chunk of steel. I mean, this is like, I think it was like a 532nd stock, so it's thick. But it's a little low-profile. I mean, this is so thin, and it contours to your body beautifully when you got to carry it. Ergos are wonderful. I mean, you got a nice thumb ramp. Not my favorite jimping style, but they do their job. They definitely help lock you in. The sheath that came with it was this nice little Kydex one. It did not come with straps. This came with a one of those uh, metal bent-over spring clips. Would be great for a lot of purposes, especially if you're uh, you tuck in your shirt and you want it like just visible. I wanted something a little easier to... like. Outside of my belt, but concealable. This fit the bill perfect, actually. When I added these straps, I was able to put this in the, like a front can, like almost like, I don't want to say appendix carry because it's not quite that aggressive. It's like, I don't, I don't have the point, the, the, you know, point pointing at things that I don't want it to point at, but the handle will like cant downward towards like the zipper of my pants. And it really does be, make it super easy to just kind of, you know, get a good grip on and then boom. And it kind of fulfills that, uh, that defensive philosophy of keeping it in that, like, in that, like, kind of hip crease. And it, it really works well. And, and I can move around with it. I don't have to take this off at all. I can leave this thing on all day. And it's super comfortable. This is a really good example of what to do. Uh, I'm going to compare it with something that, honestly, I'm surprised how much I disliked it when I started carrying it. Uh, and that's the Dynamis uh, Alliance, their original knife. I love the design of this knife. All the, er the Ergos are perfect. The one thing I can, I can poo-poo on this one was the fact that out of the box, this was dull. This was a poor sharpening job. I've gotten it up a little bit. And it's it's doing all right. I still have to touch up certain parts of it. But it wasn't... For out of the box, it should have been a lot better. Because it did not fulfill... The first thing that a knife should be is an implement to cut. And this was a great implement to pierce, not cut. Also, the sheath kind of locks you into one method of carry. Which... I'm seeing a lot of these companies do proprietary carry methods, and I think it's a terrible idea. Because this basically has to sit down in that hip crease straight down, and if you are a thin person, you have no problems. You'll have no issues. If you have any sort of gut at all, you are going to have a problem. Because it is going to stick into you. This, this thing is going to stick into you real bad. Um, the Dauntless, see if I can clear, clear some, uh, I'm going to get this to cut, cut on camera nicely. So, I mean, beautiful cut, no problems. Whereas like, you know, this, you know, the Dynamis, I believe this one isn't doing too bad. I did get a reasonably good edge on it. I mean, it, it's a little more ragged, but it's, you know, that's also could be my, you know, I was, what I was working with at the time. Um, so 
you know, there's just a, it's just a little comparison of things, things that Dauntless did very right on this. Only nitpicks I could possibly give are, I would, I wouldn't mind this would be a little bit, a little bit bigger, kind of like the, like the Dynamis. That's where like the Dynamis has a little bit of an advantage. Beyond that, though, I really can't complain. Wonderful knife, wonderful carry system. I mean, it, it rattles around just a hair in here, but I'm sure there's probably a way I could address that. They do also offer, I don't know if you can see this on camera. You see this little, like, uh, O-ring here that's between the, the two layers of the Kydex? This is a tension adjuster, so if you need this to hold in place... This you can actually adjust that, and then I would always recommend you you use a you know some sort of uh, thread locker on it. But it works great. I've never had this thing deploy on me when I didn't want it to, so I can't complain at all. There, you know, it's just a better thought out systems where they couldn't make it perfect, so they made it adjustable, which is a very good way to do things. I'm not. 100% sold on don't like so their their original sheath is great i just had to add some straps to it and I'm, i was in perfect shape as far as their pocket sheath goes um the retention is almost too good like it, it is it's like too hard which is great but you end up having to pull your pants practically up to your you know up above your hips to get this thing to like let go of the knife so I might have to play around with that a little bit and see if I can, you know, mess with it a bit, you know, because I'm willing to. And it's still nice quality made. I mean, I can't complain about the quality. So, again, at the end of the day, total win here. Total, you know, you can kind of customize this too to your liking. They have so many different cool, cool configurations for this. You know, if you want it in the Magna Cut steel... You know, you've got the Magna Cut, you've got, like I said, you have like three other steel choices. You you can tailor this to your to your wants. I just happened to get this in some newer stuff that I really was excited to try, and I haven't been disappointed. I've been carrying this in conjunction with a small box cutter knife, uh, in fact, my Tyrant Razor, because I really don't feel like whipping this out on every piece of cardboard I have to deal with in my day, and that's a lot. So, if you know, if, if you're doing that, you know, you know, get the right tool for the job. This will do the job, no problem. You will, cardboard and tape are a lot more aggressive on these, and you'll, you're going to gum up your edge a bit, you know, regardless of what it is. You're going to get tape and adhesive gunk on your edge, which you're going to have to clean. Whereas a box car, you can kind of not really care as much, and it does and, you know, you can just kind of beat the hell out of that a little bit more on, on that particular substrate. All right, guys, well, there's my, there's my thoughts. Great knife, good company, great company. They're they're coming out with some more things, especially in collaboration with Matt Helm. And uh, they're nice, these nice like combinations of heavy duty and EDC practical. And they come in at different price points too. So if you're looking for the higher end, you're going to get the higher end stuff. If you're looking for to keep the price lower, they definitely have options that usually will meet needs. So I want you all to take care. And have a wonderful week, and hopefully I can keep the content a little, you know, improve, constantly improving. If you have any suggestions or, you know, want to know my opinion on anything, and it doesn't have to be just knives, I will gladly discuss anything. Alright guys, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.